Hi, my name is Doris Fetalk, and I'm at the Washington State Convention Center in Seattle, Washington, here for the Green Festival to talk with Cyan Mitchell here at the Spinning and Weaving Association. So tell me, what makes you like spinning and weaving so much? Well, what I love about spinning and weaving is it really gets you back to the basics, and it's also wonderfully creative. Like, look at the jacket I'm wearing. This is something that you can't buy in a store, and it let me kind of express my love of color and design. The other thing I love about weaving especially is it's very left brain, right brain, because the programming of the threads it engages my left brain and my love of math, but then I get to put color and texture and everything on it, and that just really brings in the creative side. So it's, it's both, and I just love that. Wonderful. So now, a lot of people might think, you know, spinning and weaving, isn't that what they did in the 18th century? So what do you think is the place of spinning and weaving in the 21st century? Well, I find it just wonderfully creative. Can I show you a piece I did? This is a recent piece that I wove, and it kind of shows my, my love of computers combined with textiles. So really, there's a lot that you can do these days. Like, I've gotten into e-textiles and weaving with LED sequins to create fabrics that actually light up, and fiber optics. So even though it's an ancient craft, I mean, it's been around for 27,000 years, there's a lot of new and exciting things that can be done with spinning and weaving. Great, and so uh, you, you're able to really incorporate today's technology into this really ancient tradition. It's really appropriate when you think about it because the first computers actually came out of jacquard looms. And so spinning and um, weaving especially have always been integrated with technology. So it's really come full circle. Great, so what are some of the projects that one can do spinning and weaving? Oh my gosh, it's almost endless. There's such a wide variety. If you're interested in um, imagery, you can do tapestry and create you know, fabrics for wall hangings or bags. You can create garment cloth. You can create textiles for the homes. You can create art pieces. Basketry is also weaving. There's just such a wide variety. Jewelry, you can make woven jewelry. So a lot of people might think, you know, these are really beautiful weaving machines. Um, where would I find one outside of, say, the Green Festival? Well, the Spinning and Weaving Association is a collection of businesses all around spinning and weaving. And so we have a lot of vendors who sell the tools and the yarns, and we also have a lot of teachers who will help people get started with spinning and weaving. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. I'm Doris Spitak here at the Washington State Convention Center in Seattle, Washington, reporting at the Green Festival. Thanks for watching. Two and four, or did I do one and three? Oh, oops, I'm putting both. Well, if you, um, if you put, if you try one, and then you, you, see, it looks like you're on the right one now, because if you do the wrong one, what'll happen is your last pick will just pull right out. So it's really oh, okay. easy to tell where you are. Oh my goodness, I look ridiculous. <laughs> they're kind of cool though. Uh, they're not, they're not real lenses though. They're just, um, they're just, uh, I think they're just plastic. I would say this, um, although I think it might be better if the wood went all around, but at the same time this is nice because it, I guess it kind of has that accent up there, but either way is fine.